Yo, what the heck, man? That is, oh, that is not, not, not. I don't know if I should be eating at this place no more, man. Ooh. I can't eat the tortilla anymore for the life of me, so. Holy shit, these tacos. Hey guys, it's me again. The other day I was really craving Mexican food and I also needed a video idea that I can create and upload for you guys. So I thought of the craziest thing I could do. And then it came to me. Why don't I try the worst reviewed Mexican restaurant in my city? At these restaurants, I would be ordering tacos because it's kind of hard to fuck up a taco. So, you know, if the tacos suck, that means you know the restaurant sucks. I'm gonna do my best to refrain from saying the names of these restaurants just because I don't think any restaurant really deserves to get bashed on. If indeed this video gets some views, I don't want anyone to, you know, hate on these restaurants. So I'm gonna do my best to, you know, not say the names. Unless your food does suck and you purposely know that you're making bad food, then I don't know, because you can never lose if you improve. Quote me, baby. They never said winning was easy. Some people can't handle success. I can. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. I did some research, some really hardcore research, and I found a couple restaurants that had some pretty bad reviews that we can look through together. So the first one is from Candace B from Clovis. One star review. It's filthy in here. I found a fingernail in my food, not to mention very poor management and poor customer service skills. Definitely wouldn't recommend eating there. Whoever was working the window August 17th at 2.30 p.m. should be fired. Wow, this one was very specific on the day and time. <laughs> if I found a fingernail in my food, I think I would force myself to like vomit. That is absolutely disgusting. Damn, I wonder if they like check the rest of their food for like pubes or something. Cause that's what I would do. Like if I found a fingernail, I'd probably check if there was anything else in the food. All right guys, the next review, Jackie G of Fresno, California, one star. Warning, do not go to this location. Found a little black stone looking object in my food. Have tried to get in contact with management and no reply. Thankfully I eat slow and didn't break a tooth. Careless mistakes like this should not be happening. Damn, Jackie, how slow were you eating? Were you just like, <gasps> I feel like that's what I imagine when I read that. Like, cause I'm a fast eater. Like I'm like, <gasps> but like a slow eater. I mean, how slow can you be? Honestly guys, from, from the picture, it looks pretty disgusting without the stone. Like it looks like some burrito from McDonald's or something So, Oh my God. All right, guys, next review from Stephen S. of Fresno, California, one star. How embarrassing for a Mexican restaurant. I'm not racist, but they should be taking pride in making their food. If I could leave a zero star, I would. I, w I would. Unfortunately, I ordered takeout and they overcharged me for a full order of nachos. I paid Uber prices. It's not worth it. Buyer beware. They might eat your food? What? Yo, have you guys ever had someone eat your food? Like you opened up like your burger or something and like a bite was taken out of it? Oh my God. Honestly though, these nachos look freaking disgusting. Like, looks like it was like puked up. Looks like some Taco Bell ass nachos to be quite honest. Was excited to try the corn, but was very upset to find a hair in it. No bueno, garbage. Will not be going back, don't recommend. Oh, what? Dog shit. Place is terrible. No food has flavor. Orders are always wrong or missing items. Last time I went, I was overcharged. Shittiest Arsenios out there guaranteed. Oh. Uh, this place called the food dog shit. Yo, what the heck, man? That is, oh, that is not, not, not. I don't know if I should be eating at this place no more, man. Ooh. Wish me luck, boys and girls. I guess I'm about to eat a human or something. Fingernail, hair, shit, you know, all in one. That sounds very yummy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just a heads up guys, I did this afterwards. I picked up the food and ate it back at my house. So I just want to give you guys that full disclosure. We're about to approach the restaurant. All right, I'm kind of skeptical about this place, but let's see what's good. Uh, give me one second, please. Uh, for the tacos, is it three sixty nine for three? For one. Oh, uh, three sixty nine for one taco. Yeah. 
Yeah. Got it. Okay. What? What the fuck? Can I get uh, two carne asada tacos? What's everything? Uh, what's in, what's included in the tacos? Uh, pico de gallo So what was that? Pico de gallo Yeah. Yeah. Everything. That's all. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, so the bag is secured. Okay, we've got our sauces, we've got our tacos. So the plan is we're gonna eat back at the house. Um, I don't wanna sit outside and eat on the trunk just cause uh, it's, first of all, it's hot as fuck. And then, um, I don't know, I'd just rather be sitting at home. I think I can get the full experience of these tacos. We made it. Uh, can I get two um, carne asada tacos? Yeah. Uh, what was that? Uh, no beans. Yeah. Guacamole, onion, tomatoes, and cilantro? Yeah. Everything else? That's it. All right, boys and girls, we got the tacos. $8, this better fucking taste like gold, man. Holy shit. <laughs> I guess it comes with chips. Um, I still can't believe I paid $15 for four tacos. Like, that's insane. These are, <sighs> I'm, just, I'm just so mad right now. Tacos should not be more than $2 max. And the fact that these places are charging like three to four dollars for one taco. Uh, I don't know. These burgers taste amazing. So here we have the two tacos. On the left, we have Arsenio's. It does come with a bag of chips, which I am really grateful for. I really like when you know restaurants give these. And then we have their tacos. Now they do look very dry, but there is guac and pico de gallo on it. So I really appreciate that. But, you know, from the first appearance, it does not look that appetizing at all. Um, so we'll have to see. <laughs> oh, God. And they do come with two sauces. They don't give you that much sauce. They limit it to two. So uh, we'll have to manage. And on my right, we have Robert Tito's tacos. Now from initial appearance, it looks like freaking dog shit. Like, oh my god, it looks like in the shape of dog poo. I'm very nervous about eating these. You know, there is a little pico in there, but it just looks very dry and disgusting. Comes with a couple sauces. Thank god, purrs up. You know, based on looking at it right now, based on appearance, uh, out of five stars on Yelp, I'd probably give it a, a two. <laughs> So I finished the Robertitos tacos. They were absolutely shit. <coughs> oh my God. But I'm Asian, so I had to finish it and it's over with. Now, Arsenio's is also absolute shit and I cannot eat the tortilla anymore for the life of me. So I got the fork. I'm just going to eat the meat and I'm going to call it a day. Holy shit, these tacos suck. Well guys, there you have it. I did not enjoy that meal. It was really bad. The food tasted really, really disgusting. If I had to use one word, I am so sorry if you know you love going to these restaurants. It just tasted really bad and I would not pay almost $4 for a taco. Like in LA where I'm currently at right now, the tacos are like $1.50 and they're very juicy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys made it to the end, be sure to comment below if there's any other type of food that I should be trying or you know, if, if I should be trying like the worst, you know, pasta in LA or something like that, you know, any type of videos that you guys would want me to make, be sure to comment that below. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, post notifications, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. The only direction that